Jaguars, Chargers coming up on EA Sports as we get ready for today's Week 4 matchup. A losing streak can wear down a team. And, of course, we've got one team coming in here having lost its last three. When you lose a couple games in a row, you start to doubt what you're doing on the football field. You lose confidence. So what do you do as a coach in a situation like this? You make it very simple for your players on both sides of the ball. Go back to the fundamentals and just give them this. Let's out hit the other team today, and that should be enough to help us win the game. They come to the line, and it's first down. <laughs> Complete to Lewis. And tackle down at the 49-yard line. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Blackman's lined up in the slot. And now here's the toss. Robinson's marked down at the 47. Here's our look at the Jaguars' offense. This is an efficient group. Last week, turning the football over just once. To the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Offense lines up here. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, and almost picked off that time. And now here's the Chargers defense. They never got to the quarterback once last week. Third and eight coming up after the incompletion. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Go, go, go. Takes it from the gun. Gets it out for the completion. They're set to punt it away now. Turn as this goes for a touchback. First down, offense readying for the snap. Offense lines up here. Play fake. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Now, here's a look at the Chargers lineup on offense. Last week, their aerial attack was in high gear, throwing for over 300 yards. Second down and 10. And there's Gates. Smith's there to take him down. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator of the pass. Picks up some solid yards. Now it's third and short. Every offense is better in third and short than third and long, of course. The Chargers now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. Third down and one. And Matthews has got him on the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Chargers are great advantage in a football game. They know the situation here. It's a short yardage situation. So don't try to do anything fancy. Just run it up in there with power and get the first down. Matthews takes his spot in the backfield. Here's the handoff. 
And Matthews is brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. First down here after the run. Offense lines up here. Rivers has got it on the play action. Incomplete looking underneath that time. And now here's the Jags defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. And here we have second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Wide receivers are bunched up. Rivers finds Allen. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. The quarterback see cover four. Four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes. They know they're going to look for underneath or crossing routes. That time, a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field. The Chargers go with two tight ends on this play. The Chargers snap it at the 41. And they bring him down at the 36-yard line. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. This will be second down. Hey. Defense filling up the hey, box hey, here hey. with a 4-6 formation. Hey. 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 Another handoff right back to him. Martin's there to make the tackle. It's third down coming up. The Jaguars load up the box, going with the 46 defense. The defense gets the sack. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Any time on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. And now they'll call on Cypress to punt the football. to the wall for the offense. Blackman's going to get set in the slot for the snap. The give, and this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down coming up. Throw, throw, throw. They come out in the dime package. Reaches out and snatches it. Robinson's tackle down after a gain of 10. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed a pass, but it still did not get a first down. Third and short following the completion. The Jaguars, this time, will go with two tight ends. 
Lewis got the catch and the first. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you've got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First down here after the completion. Robinson in the slot. Bortles got it after the play fake. Ball's picked up. They bring him to the turf. K.O. is such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and taking it off. Good job. First and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. After getting sacked, it's now second and 18. The Jaguars go with the dime formation here on defense. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. Has Royal. Royals tackle down at the 17. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Third and short. Handoff by Rivers. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The Chargers on offense here to start the second quarter. They're able to move the chains right, man, after that last run. Coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. The Chargers have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. Offense lines up here. Woodhead's handed the football for about four. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that. Puts up six. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football. But down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They face first down. Shorts lined up now as a slot receiver. The defense comes out of the dime. Portal's going to take it from the gun. Pass is intercepted. Touchdown. Well, I really have no complaints. Sometimes you're going to throw interceptions. But my complaint is the offensive players. Nobody hustling. Nobody there to make the tackle, and they return it all the way for a touchdown. And the extra point is good. The Jags are ready to return the kick. And here's Todd Budden. And he's 
tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Hand off made. Taken down just two yards short of the first. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down and two to go after the running play. The Chargers come out in a dime package. The Jaguars all bunched up here as they get set at the line. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 30. They up the middle, and that's a two-yard game. Robinson's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Will go ground. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. First down at the 33. Once again, they'll run it in on the stop. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Coming up, second down. The Chargers will come out in the dime. Screen has his target. Throws out the arm. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Going to try and scramble now. He's got the catch. Gains 16. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Robinson's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Shorts, a receiver in the slot. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. Complete to Lewis. And a die is the one who brings them to the ground. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? This will be the eighth play of this drive. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Bortles back in shotgun formation. And intercepted. That brings the play to an end. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense. And finally, he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. First down on the way. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Finds his mark. Lloyd tackled down. 
Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. He's tackled right at the 36. Matthews is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down. Matthews lined up in the backfield. Rivers keeps it. Takes off with it. Throws to the right. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. This is third down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Rivers out of the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Last play before the two-minute warning. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. It's first down as they head to the line. Wide receivers are bunched up. They've come out in the dime package. Rivers finds Allen, and Allen has stopped there. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times, but one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. First down here after the completion. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Matthews. Is brought down. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and three is what had taken it right up the middle. That's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Double tight end formation. Third down and three. Takes it again. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. And Matthews is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. He'll throw it over the middle. Rivers finds Allen. Jim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You've got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. This has been a long drive so far. And the give to Ryan Matthews. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be the 11th play of the drive. 
What a drive this has been. Second and goal from the nine. Chargers. There is no lead in the NFL or state. We all know that. We have seen tremendous comebacks. So when you get the opportunity, lay it on them, man. Keep scoring. Makes the PAT. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. And here's Todd Booth. there at the 20. The Jaguars are set for their next possession. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and 10. To a halt, the Jaguars signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. First down here. One more snap in halftime. Quarters formation here for the defense. Robinson's going to take the handoff now. Nice tackle. So that's going to do it for the first half. Chargers are up in this one. Jim Nance and Bill Sims here at San Diego Stadium getting set for the second half. Makes the catch at the seventh. First down here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Play fake. Looking for Malcolm Floyd on the deep pass. And it's incomplete. Well, you must on the offensive side throw the football deep three or four times a game. That time, they're just not able to connect on the deep throw. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. And Matthews is lined up as the single back. Intercepted! That'll stop the play right there. Kozlowski is probably going to go to the sideline and tell him, hey, I got such a good pair of hands after that interception that I should play some tight end. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this, he is one good linebacker. First down coming up. The Chargers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Portals got it in the gun. Makes the reception. Right there to make the tackle. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Shorts lined up in the slot. Here we go now. Green, 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 green. The Jaguars have it at the 44. Justin Blackman hauls it in. They deck him in the backfield. That well, was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Bortles going to take the snap from the shotgun. Scrambling now. 
Justin Blackman pulls it in. Blackman's tackled down at the 15. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. They come to the line, and it's first down. First down following the long play. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Keeps it here. And the pass incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. The defense comes out of the dime. Portal standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. What a catch. Touchdown. Touchdown. Now we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Royals got it on the return. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. First down, offense readying for the snap. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Woodhead takes it out of the eye and gains maybe four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. After running it, it's second down. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete, the big hit by the defender. Third down on the way. The Chargers come out and a bunch set. Almost intercepted that time. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Jaguars are getting set for their next possession. It's a two tight end formation. Now first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Complete to Lewis. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Two tight ends on the field here. Robinson's going to secure the handoff. That's a gain of six. Nothing like a good trap play. When you play defensive linemen who like to get up the field a little too quick, let them get up the field, have a pulling guard, knock them out, and then run in there behind them and get those yards. Second and four. They're setting up screen. Very nearly intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can't be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. Short's going to get set in the slot for the snap. Out of the gun. 
almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Gets about four yards that time. Well, that time he only gets a couple yards, and if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. They face first down. Royals in the slot. Midway into the third. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Smith's in on the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down here after that run play. The Chargers come to the line with a bunch set. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Throws to the right. Royals got it on a pass that had some heat. First down here after the completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. Second down here. They bring in the extra tight end. Feeds him again is brought down. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down here after the run. Big set here for the defense. Lining up in the 4-6. The run with it again. And Matthews is brought down. Well, that time that run play in the red zone, it did not pull the defense. The offense gets overpowered and get a very little gain that time on the run. Second down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Woodhead. Martin's there to take him down. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Only eight yards to go. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the seventh. Matthews takes it. Toss play. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Third and goal. You don't get it in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. When an offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it. Get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Jaguars getting ready now to start their drive. Shorts lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 20. They're going to get him here for a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Second down coming up. 
Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Bortles going to take it from the gun. With two hands, he has it. He's brought down. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches. One of these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. That last pass completion sets up a third and nine. Shorts, a receiver in the slot. The Jaguars have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Third down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And it's out of bounds, incomplete. And so now they'll call on Anger to punt the football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Chargers are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. Matthews takes his spot at the backfield. He'll run it here. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Second down following the run. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Second and ten. To the outside, the catch is made. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Third down now. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Rivers sends it to Floyd. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Running to his right. Woodhead's a running back after he makes a big run like this. He gets excited. He is just looking for his next carry. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Phillip Rivers has it under center. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Allen's lined up in the slot. Second and eight. Phillip Rivers unloading the long pass. Almost intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Allen's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and eight. Rivers finds Allen. Allen's tackled right at the 35. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them. The throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Split backfield here. Matthew. And he'll go to the left and pick up about four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. 
They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. Matthews lined up in the backfield. He's going to get another carry. And he gains maybe three. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Third and three. Gives it to him again. And Matthews is brought down. Games in the NFL can hinge on third and short. Who can pick him up and who can stop him? How about that play that time by the defense? They stopped the third and short run, and now it's fourth down. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong, but good execution that time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. And here's Todd Boone. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. They'll go shotgun here. And he's forced to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side, there's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Portals back in shotgun formation. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Quarters formation here for the defense. Drop back, shotgun formation. Weddle very nearly picked off that throw. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Royals going to look for space now. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Royals, such a great athlete. You've got to find ways to get the football to him. Here's another way to get it to him. On a punt return, how explosive is he? Man, Barry, that's the answer. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. And Matthews is taking the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. That leads us to second down. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. This is a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game. So there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. The Chargers take it from the 38. Rivers looking long. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. second half first down on the way coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time running room stiff arm and he's brought to the ground why not take one of the best players on your football team the wide receiver and throw him some screen passes it makes sense Good job. Nice yards picked up. 
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's go, a dime go, go. look for the defense Three. on this play. Three. Launching it deep. And it falls incomplete. They went for the home run ball there, Phil, it but just good. could not make the play. Yeah, you want to do this. You always want to throw the football deep at least four or five times a game because you want to make the defensive backs uncomfortable. If you let them get comfortable, they'll start jumping those short ones. These guys won't do that anymore now. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. It'll be third down. Lee's in the slot. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. This man was put on this defense for this reason alone. Make the big hits. Give your team some momentum and also put a little fear in the offensive players when they get the football. Shorts lined up now as a slot receiver. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. They'll turn it over on downs. I'll just say this, Jim. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And the give to Ryan Matthews. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Matthews takes his spot in the backfield. Gets the handle here. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. Now looking at third down. Toss to the outside. And Matthews is brought down. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. Before we go any further, they're going to take another look at the last play. They're going to take another look at this one to try to determine if it was an accurate spot. Well, Jim, when there's a challenge of spotting the football, what they're doing when they go to replay, they're trying to see it has to be clear. In other words, it can't be they're not going to move it one inch or something like that. They have to have a spot on the field where they clearly can see that the spot was not right for them to change where it was spotted. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, it, it's a wonderful time.